I kind of wanted to share the behind the scenes of this one, kind of a, do another writing process video. So should be cool if you're into that kind of thing. If not, you don't have to watch it, but I'm going to try it. The original idea I had was to kind of do like a classic accent triple beat thing and then modulate to triplets. Um, I kind of maybe build patterns like that. Can I hear them? Two or three patterns and then incorporate some stuff with both hands. So start with isolating one hand and then incorporate both hands and then maybe like a tag at the end, like we throw in some variation. And we do kind of same idea, but we start on the tap. and three and the four and so now our triplet would start on this next downbeat so i'm gonna play through that real quick So on the next part, I think we'll incorporate both hands, but keep the structure of one bar of sixteenths, one bar of triplets, um, but just like straight through flame accents, maybe. So maybe something like. Yeah. So that's cool. So that way the the taps are staying consistent with the sixteenths of triplets. And we're still doing a flame accent every three notes, regardless of where that shifted. So I've put some interesting, um, like rhythmic changes and touch changes in those taps, especially when you cross over measure lines, right? Because with that first bar, we counted out one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. From the accent uh, to the next tap, we go to the downbeat, a one, and now we're in triplet land. A triple, a triple, a triple. And then we go back to 16th. Triple, let, triple, let, on the end, the two, the end, the three, and the four, the end, the trip. And then we go to triples again. So it kind of makes you work on kind of paying attention to each little partial, especially as we switch between the 16th and triplets. Yeah, so so far, um, I like how we have that consistent structure of bar of 16th, bar of triplets, and how we do the two patterns one handed and then we combine and do the flame accent versions, right? Because if we do this guy on top of itself, so we get the flame accents, right? So I think after that we could add it and be like a two bar tag or something to kind of tie it all up, kind of make it more exciting, right? So I kind of want to combine these ideas of the triplets and 16 flame accents, um, but in a more like applied way to like a piece of music. So I, I kind of like stopping on a tap there. Maybe we do a quarter note. Ah, no, we should do dotted eighth. Only in that to the end of that. Let me do that instead. I kind of like taking those taps out. So I think I kind of want to change that bar. So instead of doing like a, a double flame, I'm not a big fan of after all. I kind of want to go stay on triplets a little bit. Like, like do those flame accents till the uh, E and a, E and a, and then triplets. You know? 
Yeah, we'll do that instead. I kind of like how we have some of these doubles in there. It's kind of fun. Maybe we kind of keep those going a little bit in the last couple bars. Maybe we do a couple more of those. We could do a couple triplet lines. So we have a one, a lit, two, a lit, three, depending on that low left. And then I think we should end it on this next bar. So if we finish this bar out and we kind of finish it up on the next bar, I think that's cool. Short and sweet, not too crazy. So we have, kind of want to jump on the eighth note there, you know, something. Double and then a single line double maybe. Three and a four E and a one E and a two. It takes us to two. So I want to make it a little bit uncomfortable on purpose because I want it to kind of be a challenge to achieve these two rhythms in kind of a unique way that might feel uncomfortable. But it's it, I think it helps develop a lot of control um, because on the one hand the the sixteenths might feel pretty comfortable at one twenty eight. Triples feel a little slow. It takes a lot of control to go in and out of those ideas, um, which is on purpose to kind of challenge the player to work on that level of control. So that tag from measure nine. Yeah, we have a couple counts left just to kind of wrap this up. Two and a uh, uh, lit four. Two and a uh, uh, lit four. I don't know. <laughs> Full shot on the N of four. That's cool. That'll be the end, I think. Cool. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this one. It's designed to be a little more um, advanced to kind of help explore kind of developing more control, different uh, ranges of tempos and rhythms for flame accents, right? So what I might do too is kind of release a more basic flame accent one too, but this is more of like an intermediate, intermediate to advanced style lick. Let's run the whole thing, see how it goes. it's kind of hard. I like that it's a challenge to get some of those modulations in there and I think it still sounds cool doing it. Uh, cool, so I hope you liked this video. Um, if you want to see more of these kind of breakdown of kind of the writing process, um, let me know because I enjoy making these. So as long as you guys keep liking them, I'll keep doing them too. So hope you enjoy this one. Check out the PDF in my bio and uh, yeah, see you next time.